All right, and welcome to this uh, episode number 22. Uh, in this episode, I'm gonna look quickly into the um, new uh, shader to RGB converter node and uh, the possibility of NPR workflow in real time with EV. And I also want to show you guys a thing. Um, so I have a pretty old uh, cell phone, uh, OnePlus X, and I recently switched to from OBS to Streamlabs OBS and then you can get this uh, mobile app where you can uh, change the scene in uh, OBS with your cell phone so it's kind of nice it's almost like having a mixer table where you can just click around there so that's also the reason why I wanted to make this episode to just set up everything I had in OBS in Streamlabs OBS so let's jump into Blender and uh, I've downloaded this uh, model from uh, this guy's YouTube channel, Catarn uh, 66. Um, so if you want to test it out, you can download it too. And uh, let's go. So it has a pretty clean topology and everything. I guess he cleaned it up before he shared it. But let's jump into uh, EV without any overlays and just um, check out the new node. So you find it under converter and uh, shader to RGB. And if you just plug it in like this, uh, she's gonna end up purple because you're plugging out a color output into a surface input. Um, and the easiest way to try it out is just to plug the shader, the sh final shader output into shader to RGB converter, and uh, then just uh, use a emission shader at the end. So you're gonna see it's gonna take a bit time to compile, but once that done, you, I'm just using a math less than node to get the the not the yeah separate the highlights from the midtones. Uh, you could do this probably in several steps. The more steps you have, or a color ramp, uh, then you can have like the um, shadow areas, the midtones, and the highlights. Uh, and then I'm using that uh, that output is just a black and white output but I'm using a mix RGB uh, so I'm using the I'm just selecting what kind of uh, how the shadows should look and stuff like that so I'm not really that into NPR uh, I'm more, more about uh, stylized than PBR so but anyway, and the guy who developed this and contributed it was uh, Kansaki Wataru, um, and I guess Clement implemented it. Uh, there's a video on Blender developer, the de Blender developers about it, where they talk talked about um, adding more NPR nodes as an add-on. So I guess I have to check that one out as soon as. Um, it's available in the um, uh, recent Blender 2.8 builds. But uh, until then you have to kind of make your own NPR shader groups like this. And uh, that's how I used to work with uh, PBR before the principal arrived. Then I'm, back then I made all my like, uh, like a standard or default uh, PBR node and I had a glass and a skin shader. Uh, but uh, once uh, principal arrived, um, they kind of felt redundant, um, especially if you're going to export. It seems like uh, there's probably going to be more support for uh, getting like a principal shader converted and exported, and then imported into a game engine with all the correct um, textures set up. And so. Maybe they should think about making a NPR version of the principal. Uh, so, us that's not into like really NPR build can uh, use that node to 
get started more quickly and then if you're more advanced uh, advanced user you can kind of set this thing up yourself um, so that's was the part for the NPR and here you can see his uh, YouTube channel Katarn66 and uh, you can uh, download uh, the model from his uh, description and leave a like and a subscribe if you like his stuff. Uh, I'm not signing in on Firefox, so. But yeah, you can check it out there. Uh, I want to show you guys some more EV videos I found. Uh, so this first one is from Neveselov. Neveselov. I'm probably butchering his name if that's his correct name, but. Um, um, what he did was getting a reference image and then model everything and set up the EV materials and lighting. Basically reconstructing reconstructing the scene in EV. So yeah, this is kind of cool inspiration and uh, cool project. You could probably try and do something similar. Uh, I might do it also. Take a photo, a reference photo from the web. Uh, this one is from John Malcolm, uh, a EV test render where he has this uh, like a product with uh, metallic and painted metallic and plastic uh, stuff and it looks great actually. I really like the camera motion, I'm thinking, wondering if he did it uh, by hand or if he filmed something with his uh, cell phone and camera tra tracked it in 2.79 and then just export the camera motion because it kind of looks uh, semi um, realistic the shakes shaking and stuff and if you look here you can see the um, some of the ray tracing uh, stuff you have to live with uh, it would be nice if it could be um, like in cycle randomized a bit I don't know but anyways it looks amazing for real time and uh, this video is from Emiliano Colantoni. Um, he has done some. Uh, he has some these good uh, EV renders, and this is one uh, a really creepy one with an uh, alien where he uses motion capture data. So the eyes are super creepy looking. Really nice. Uh, glossy reflection in the eyes and here you can see all the um, empty objects that uh, are driven by the motion capture data I guess so this is all he shows all the modifiers all the vertices hooks that are ho all the vertices that are hooked to these empty objects that are driven by the motion capture data so this one is really cool. You can check out his uh, channel. He has uh, a lot of EV stuff. Let's jump into this one. Uh, ice cream product render done in EV. Looks super good, super great. And uh, EV is especially good for this. Um, this kinds of render. It goes so quick and you can quickly get the look that you want. And uh, I guess if you're not happy with the um, uh, subsurface scattering or the translucency stuff you can jump in uh, you can do it in cycles so this is from James O'Brien uh, he has done a lot of neat looking EV scenes one called Motel um, but this is a uh, some kind of gas station and he flies around um, in the fly around mode with the camera which kinda makes it look like a really good game engine Yeah, it looks uh, great. A lot of texturing work done here. And uh, probably uh, screen space uh, refraction on the, uh, the windows of the car and stuff like that. And of course, uh, volumetric, you can see it. Uh, a volumetric scene. All the camera light gives this uh, light shots. But yeah. He has also a lot of good EV stuff 
EV render, so you can check his channel out. And then, uh, yeah, cut around 66 with the EV girl if you don't want to download it and test it. So that was everything for this recording. Most of all, I wanted to try out the new software, and uh, the build bot hasn't uh, built a new 2.8 build in three days. So I can test any other stuff out. But um, so far I'm really good with Streamlabs. Uh, I'm really happy with Streamlabs OBS. And uh, I also upgraded my internet connection. So before I had one megabyte up speed and it took forever to upload the videos. Um, but now I have like 25 down and 10 up. But I'm upgrading it to 100 down and 50 up. Once I get the new uh, router. So I might go back to live streaming um, and I have a game project in mind which I've kind of started and making the character and the environment and I'm gonna redo some of that stuff in um, 2.79 because it's a lot of heavy sculpting but um, as soon as possible I want to move into I don't move on to Blender 2.8 and uh, use it for production, even if it's being built on. But um, yeah, that was everything Everything for this episode and um, waiting for new builds. And um, yeah, see you guys next time. Bye.